We're so excited about yes, our next guest. We really right? are. I'm excited about all of them, as yes. a matter of fact. <laughs> all right. Uh, Here's the thing. You know the story. Well, yes. I first noticed you, Ezra, when you were running circles around my son's basketball team. And that's <laughs> when we, we fell in love with you and then started finding out more about your story. Um, you're not only an athlete, uh, you're, uh, you really motivate people left and right. Don't consider yourself disabled at all, right? Thank you. Not at all. We have a little clip showing you how basically at home so you can get a little idea of Ezra and then we'll talk with you. I was actually born with one finger on my left hand and a full left leg, but it was curved. I had surgery when I was two and a half years old to remove the part that was curved. So I had a stump that they could put a prosthetic leg on. And then they took the big toe from that and they put it on my left hand. So I have two fingers. I've always felt like sports is where I can go when I'm sad or lonely or anything. I love competition. I feel like if I don't play sports every day, I feel weird. Hey. First of all. Thanks. <laughs> I'll come, I hugged you already. I'll smother you with kisses. Should we introduce his lovely parents as Please. well? Okay, so I'm Bahar Sumac. Bahar Sumac and then Clayton Frick. Frick. Okay. Frick, yes. And Clayton, of course, you recognize from the movies. Or no, is that your or, wife? Or yeah, maybe that would be Bahar. That would be Bahar. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He gets a little weird in front of the camera, so he is not in the movies. <laughs> yeah, you're going to be fine, and, and Mom has been in a lot of movies, and I've been a fan of yours for a Aww, long time. So I'm so glad. You. I'm so glad thank you're here. You. But now this is all about you. <laughs> what makes you tick? What What is it? When you get up in the morning, what are you feeling? Um, I feel like I've got a great day ahead of me. Um, it's going to have fun and do what I do. And you know, you grew up with this. When did you make a decision? I'm going to be an athlete, or it just came to you naturally? Um, I just love playing sports since I was a baby. Um, I've always loved shooting baskets, playing soccer, playing football. It's always come to me. I love doing it. Mm -hmm. but you, and, and track and field is one of your, your best sports too, right? Yeah, I love track and field. I mean, what kid doesn't like to run, jump, and throw stuff? <laughs> now, I looked at stuff with you. You've been talking to kids your age and older since about when? When did you start talking and why did you feel the need to, to go talk um, to kids? I started when I was four, and I, and I just wanted to share my story with people. I uh, wanted to show them that being different is okay, um, and that you can dream it, hope it, or make it happen. Um, and I really want them to go and make it happen. Wait a minute. Are you 45 years old? <laughs> no, right. no. That is really so well said. Mom, talk about this a little bit. Well, you know, Ezra is an old soul, and he was actually quite articulate at a young age. And so he started going to schools and, and public schools and talking to kids about being different and that it's okay, his message. And, you know, through time, and he got nominated Sports Illustrated Kid of the Year and, um, and got so many opportunities to have bigger venues and start speaking to kids. And I think it's pretty impactful and powerful to hear a young child and his message about accepting your differences in your body. And he feels almost like it's a calling, right? It's something you need to do. Yeah, yeah, I love it. He just yeah. spoke to 17,000 uh, kids what? in a stadium in <laughs> Chicago at an event called We Day. And uh. so he, he, I, I, he gets a nice high from it, right? You, you love being out there. And, I like and, it. It's fun. Yeah. <laughs> the energy in the building was unbelievable. What do you think you'll do? I mean, obviously, you're 10 now. But when you grow up, will you choose between, like, talking to people or doing sports? Like, what do you see yourself doing as you grow up, go through school and college? I see myself being an athlete, um, and hopefully I'll, I'll, be, I'll start my motivational speaking career, um, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm, I'm not really sure yet. And we did get to play you in soccer this year. I thought we would play you in soccer, but you were just too busy with... Um, with speaking engagements. I really wanted to do it, but okay. I couldn't. You know, and by the way, I'm glad because we, we were undefeated this year, so I was, <laughs> was kind of thankful you that you... And you would have been I was kind of glad I didn't see you out on the soccer field. All right, Dad, as uncomfortable as you are being on camera right now, you're going to have to talk. Uh, I know how proud you are. She's a remarkable kid. Are you sometimes overwhelmed? You look at your kid and say, wow. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I mean, you know, he was born almost exactly 10 years ago and never could we have dreamed the journey that we've been on and uh, what I think warms our heart is that uh, his story really does connect with people and so uh, whether they're they have a disability whether they're able-bodied whatever everybody has their challenges it's one of his messages and you know his his story really speaks to people so we just love getting the feedback on 
Facebook and you know and uh, it's social team, media. Team Ezra on Facebook. No, we definitely want to talk about Angel City Games. We have a little time left, so tell us about that. What people need to know. Um, so Angel City Games is a track and field event and basketball clinic um, for physically disabled people. Um, we want to make this in LA. We have so many great people here. We have a great community, and we want to build a disabled community here. Excuse um, me, I'm looking at you, and I know you're going to be the mayor. No, you already have it down. You're building LA. <laughs> I'm sorry, kid. Continue. Go ahead. Um, so June 19th is the first day. You're going to have clinics. Um, when I went to my first track and field event a couple years ago, I had no idea how to do any of these events. Um, these great coaches taught me how to do the events. Um, so that's why they're going to be there at Angel City Games, um, helping teach newcomers, new people who don't know how to compete, how to learn these events, um, and help them find their true athlete. Oh, my goodness. And then the competition on Saturday. And the competition, yeah. competition on, on June 20th. I will vote for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay? All right. Okay. It's great to see you again. Thank, Thank you. For more information, go to angelcitygames.org or myfoxla.com. And again, June 19th and 20th.